Many fast bowlers suffer from a back injury at some point in their career. In today's video, we are going to go through the causes of that and ways to correct it. Before we go into the cause of injury, we have to go through the three main types of bowling action. The first action we are going to look at is a side-on action. This is where the back foot lands parallel to the back crease line and the front arm is across the body, creating a gap to look through and that's where we look through to the bat zone. It's important that your feet, hips and shoulders are all in the same line. The second action we are going to be looking at is a front-on action. This is where the back foot lands perpendicular to the back crease line and the front arm is on the open side of your body. We are looking past the outside of the arm towards the batter. The hips and shoulders are now parallel to the crease line. The third action we are going to be looking at is the semi front on or the 45 action. The 45 gives it away as your back foot lands at a 45 degree angle towards the back crease line and your arm is directly in front of your face where you are looking towards the basin. Your hips and your shoulders are now aligned at a 45 degree angle to the back crease line. The first cause of injury that we are going to look at is mixed action. If you do not know what a mixed action is, I am yet to tell you. So the first mixed action we are going to look at is the bottom half of your body being side on where your toes parallel to the crease and the top half of your body being front on where you are looking through the open side of your arm. As you are standing like this you can already feel that at the low part of your back there feels like there is a lot of tension and that's going to cause a lot of pain. Now just imagine you are doing this while running in at full pace the amount of stress and tension that's going to be put onto that point of your back and this could cause a stress fracture in the future. The second mix action is, and you probably guessed it, where the bottom half of your body is in a front on position with your foot perpendicular to the back crease and the top half of your body is in a side on position. We are looking through the gap that your arm creates. Again, this is causing a lot of tension on the lower back because of the rotation that's going to be caused by it. The easiest way to try and correct these mixed actions is to start off by standing and bowling. You're going to stand and you're going to choose which action the bottom half of your body is because that's the easiest place to work from because when you land that's how you're always going to land. So we are going to correct the top half of the body. So if you're a front on bowler you're going to start with your foot already in the front on position and you're going to stand looking through the open side of your arm and from here you're going to release the ball in the action itself. This is training your body to be used to this new action. It's going to be exactly the same with a side on action except with your back foot parallel to the crease and you're looking through the gap in your arm trying to stay nice and strong and bowling through that. To get more and more used to it we will start adding with some walking and then as soon as we're comfortable with that we're going to add a slow jog and eventually progress to a full run. The second main cause of injury that we are going to look at is actually caused by the alignment of the feet in the crease but what we are looking at is collapsing in the action itself. The two different alignments that we are concerned about is one where your front foot kicks across and in and then you collapse outward to push the ball in and the other one is where your front foot kicks out and you still collapse outward to push the ball to make sure that the bowling line is correct. When the body collapses your body forms a c-shape and this places extra strain onto the spine which could cause a stress fracture or other lower back issues. We are going to be looking at two corrections for this. To start off we are going to be looking at bowling with a structure next to us which could be a net or a wall to make sure that we stay nice and upright and this doesn't allow the body to kick across or kick open bowling on both sides to get comfortable with it then we are going to move on to walking and bowling and setting up cones in the lines to make sure that the feet don't kick either in or across creating a channel for the landing so that if your foot lands on the cone you can feel it and know that you strayed slightly in it and then we're going to keep working at this and then start adding in more intensity and more pace into the run-up until we go to our full run. The third main cause of injury is when you are leaning back at the back foot landing point. The reason that this causes a back injury is because the back is having a lot of flex through its rotation point because you're landing behind yourself and then having to overextend to get forward and through your action. In a biomechanically correct action, we're looking to be leaning slightly forward at the point of the back foot landing because this helps manage our momentum towards our target. The drill that we are going to use to help correct this, a friend is going to be holding a stump or anything that could be a visual aid. The bowler is going to run with a bend in their body to go under the stump. This is to help force the momentum slightly forward and then from there they're going to get into their gather and bowl. The stump must be just before the gathering point 
where the bound happens. Of course, this is going to make sure the momentum's forward and all the energy is going towards your target. Thank you for watching this video. Please remember to like and subscribe. And if you want to stop bowling wise, check this video over here. We'd like to thank the following members for the support and helping us make these videos possible. A big thank you to Ray, Hammer, Stanio, Lima, Yuan, and Ligeria.